Ask any real astrologer today and they will tell you that we're in the age of Aquarius whose motto is I know and we are no longer in the age of Pisces whose motto is I believe. Therefore, religion is failing and spirituality is rising. That being said, you either know the stars or you don't. Now, many churchgoers today will say that the Bible condemns astrology, which it doesn't. If you are a truth seeker, then you should seek the truth and not depend on your pastor to read the Bible to you. The Bible says we condemn astrologers, not astrology. Common sense should now be considered rare sense because people don't think for themselves. And I mean that respectfully. So here are the basics. Jesus is the Son of God who is the light of the world, also called the Lamb of God, who is resurrected every Easter. He is also born of a virgin in Bethlehem. Now the word Bethlehem was also left untranslated in the Bible. It means the house of bread, and it's not a literal house. With a basic understanding of astrology, you will know that the sun indeed is born every spring when the sun is in the constellation Aries according to tropical astrology. When you look up at night, you will see the virgin in the sky, which is the constellation Virgo because it's the exact opposite of Aries. Now you might think Libra is the opposite of Aries when Libra is tiny compared to Virgo. Virgo actually takes up two constellations. Virgo is called the house of bread as there are 12 houses for the 12 constellations. That's why Jesus says, John 14, 2, in my father's house, there are many mansions. Now, as above, Jesus begins collecting his 12 apostles. And so below, these are the 12 posts that the sun passes through every single year since the beginning of time. Do not be listening to these astronauts from NASA. They are liars. We cannot go to the stars. That's like trying to land on a rainbow. You can only log the stars. Therefore, astrology is astro logging. Be an astral logger yourself and don't depend on anyone else's interpretation except your own. It doesn't cost anything to pay attention. So do your diligence and do as the Bible says, not as your pastor says. Now, obviously, those who know me will take that with a grain of salt. But again, be your own leader. Do not listen to me or anyone for that matter. After all, religion is science told improperly and true science is religion told properly. Jesus is the sun, but he is also the chrism oil and the third eye. That's why he dies between two thieves on Skull Hill aka Calvary or Galgatha, and he even dies at 33, which is the number of vertebrae in your spine because he is the stairway to heaven, which is your backbone. He is the Messiah, which is the Messiah region of your body. If you want to learn the secrets of the Bible, you must learn astrology. The word pastor contains the word aster, as in asterism, which is the stars. Hercules is not a zodiac, which is a sign that the sun passes through. It's an asterism just like Orion's belt. Why is no one asking why there's star language in religious hierarchies? More importantly, why is there a deacon and a cardinal in the church? There are three deacons in each constellation and there are four cardinal signs, which means there are four opening signs that begin the four seasons. Aries is a cardinal sign, which begins spring. Cancer is a cardinal sign, which begins summer. Libra is a cardinal sign that begins fall. And Capricorn is also a cardinal sign, which begins winter. This is what they should be teaching in school, but they don't. They want your mind disconnected from your soul so they can control you. This hearth book is a philosopher's guide to the truth. And that's all I preach on here. I'm just trying to help you. My goal is to unlock millions of minds and I will keep striving to do that. And whether you follow my teachings or not, I am only here to help you. We are on the same side.